What's up, Mario from Merch Fab? Sorry to keep everyone hanging on such a cliffhanger from the last episode of not knowing what is in the box. I'm sure a few people uh, worked it out. I haven't had a chance to actually read through any of the comments yet, but what is it? Shiny. Here's an air filter. Well, look at these puppies. If you've never heard what a set of these sound like, I'll give you a proper demonstration. So, um, yeah, I started looking on eBay the other day. I thought I need a set of throttle bodies on it. I've never had a, uh, I've never had a set of throttle bodies on anything before. Done carbs, which I've always liked, like like the noise it makes. I wanted that car to sound sort of like it looks, old school. So this will this will fit the bill. And there's something more fun about driving naturally aspirated cars and this car is just supposed to be like a good all-rounder just to have some fun in so uh, this was the best option um, so these are made by ATR which is a British company and I was just looking on eBay uh, for some second-hand ones to be honest and um, there wasn't really anything on there and I found these on there and um, they did me a really good deal on a on a full setup. So um, yeah, just went for it. I think it's going to finish the car off really nice, and they just look like a really nicely made piece of kit. They all the sort of trumpets and stuff. These are all like threaded, really nicely machined. I mean, they are like a really nice piece of engineering. The uh, air filter plate, you basically just sit in between your, trumpets, screw it on, and away you go. So you've got throttle position sensor, no like external linkage sort of thing it's all already on there which is nice um, that one adjusts your idle there and then this is like the individual balance between each one really nicely machined ports got some little buns for the uh, fitting kit bits for the air filter these buns are for the injector holes so you are supposed to plug your existing ones and then use this fuel rail I'm actually going to use the existing fuel rail because it's got a one a single feed to it and it's got like three different regulators all set up I don't want to have to buy any more re uh, separate regulators and I've already got the fuel system sorted so I'm gonna not use this fuel rail plug these holes and just use the existing setup just just to uh, make life easier and mean that I don't have to buy anything else so I can um, take that off so I do uh, throttle bodies suspension, coilover stuff brake kits it's a, it looks like they um, they make a lot of sort of kit car stuff so if uh, if that's your thing go and have a look atrproducts.co.uk you can't really argue with the uh, quality of the engineering on that it's uh, top notch I had a bit of a nightmare with the car, well I had a bit of a nightmare a week to be honest 
But, um, so I came in after I hadn't even been into the workshop for about a week. And previous to that, I had taken the inlet manifold off to because uh, I wanted to obviously uh, try the throttle bodies fit them in there and I took the fuel rail connection off and had it like sort of wedged up here over here somewhere and then we had a really hot few, few days and obviously the fuel expanded in the tank pushed the fuel out so it was dripping out over, I don't know how many days. And so all this area in here has just been soaked in fuel. So I, and it's uh, completely taken all the paint off, all under the brake servo, like that. That's just, the paint's just fallen off. So took all the primer off. Right, back to the metal. Uh, which is... See, so you can literally just peel it off. So, obviously that is really annoying. I'm just going to have to take all the brake booster back out to get to that, to paint it. That seemed to be the way everything, you know, has gone just to the easily avoidable uh, cock-ups making me loads of work so um, I mean this isn't you know, obviously this isn't, that, isn't that bad it's just a bit of paint but when I first came in and discovered it however I wasn't so upbeat about it and luckily um, I had my kids with me so I couldn't freak out too much, but I think had they not been with me, I definitely would have thrown a hammer through the windscreen. So what I've done anyway is I had to modify the fuel rail a little bit to get clearance to be able to fit the throttle bodies with this fuel rail. But like I said, I did just want to keep this one because it has a fuel pressure regulator here. You've got another regulator here, which I don't know what, what is what, but you've got three of these. There's one in the tank, one there, one there and a single line to the rail rather than a feed and return. Didn't want to have to redo all the lines, so I've just gone with that. So now we can do a little trial fit. That's an improvement. So I need to saw vacuum out for the brake servo. So we need to plug these injector holes with a barb fitting and then uh, you can get these little vacuum block things just to block with a load of fittings and you plumb everything into that and then you've got takeoffs for I need one for the booster and then also one for the ECU so I've ordered a little block kit thing because it was cheaper just to buy the kit than buy all the fittings and try and make one so that's come in and I can fit all those properly still haven't done anything with the wiring in here it's uh, right mess, just haven't, haven't had a chance to do anything on it. Oh, I need to, I need a catch can as well. Just sort of catch can, oil catch can. There's, uh, there's, there's still actually loads of little jobs that need um, buttoning up, but uh, yeah. 
So I think um, that just finishes the build off nicely. Needed something. It's going to be it for this one. Just watch him. See you on the next one.